Welcome to our NCAA.com Player to Watch forecast. I've got nine guys who I think could compete for National Player of the Year. Let's start out in Nevada. Caleb Martin returned to the Wolfpack. He is a prolific scorer. You're going to see him slash into the basket and leading Eric Musselman's crew to the top of the Mountain West Conference. Kyle Guy from Virginia is a great shooter for Tony Bennett. So, of course, they are simpatico the way they think on the floor. Tyus Battle of Syracuse, he's a zone buster for Jim Beheim when teams are going against Syracuse in the zone because Tyus Battle certainly can score. Luke May of North Carolina, he's going to be the veteran presence for the Tar Heels as they try to win the ACC and get to the Final Four. Diedrich Lawson, he's a transfer from Memphis. You may have forgotten about him after sitting out last season, but Bill Self told me he thinks he could be Big 12 Player of the Year and a national contender for Player of the Year. Grant Williams of Tennessee was the SEC Player of the Year last season. He could win it again, and he was the people's choice on March Madness as the National Player of the Year. Ethan Happ of Wisconsin, a tremendous scorer who plays under the rim, works the angles very well, and he could end up being Wisconsin's most prolific player ever. Zion Williamson of Duke is a load. He's going to be incredibly tough to stop, especially when he's going full steam ahead to the basket. And Carson Edwards of Purdue. Yes, Purdue lost a lot, but he's going to score in bunches. And Matt Painter is going to lead on Edwards to get Purdue deep into the tournament. All right, here are nine players who are a little bit under the radar nationally that need to get more love. I'm going to start with B.J. Taylor of UCF. You may have forgotten about him because last season he was hurt, but he is a phenomenal leader for Johnny Dawkins at UCF. You will remember his name at the end of the season. Kai Bowman from Boston College doesn't have Jerome Robinson. He could put up 40 on a given night. Clayton Custer from Loyola Chicago, prolific shooter. He could lead the Ramblers back deep into the NCAA tournament. Shamari Pons from St. John's. Remember what he did against Duke and Villanova last season? Well, he's the preseason Big East Player of the Year. He could win that award. He will get Madison Square Garden going this season. Rui Hachimura. I'm not sure there's a player who has improved as much at Gonzaga as Hachimura has over the last couple of seasons. Has a chance to lead the Zags to the national championship. DeAndre Hunter from Virginia. People forget he didn't play in that game against UMBC. He's the kind of athletic wing that the Cavaliers needed in that game. He'll help Virginia potentially win the ACC yet again. Mike Dom from South Dakota State, he's a load. He's a 20-point guy. He's going to potentially lead the country in scoring. And the Jackrabbits have a chance this season, not just to get to the NCAA tournament, but win a game. Jordan Murphy from Minnesota, somehow he's the forgotten guy in the Big Ten, but he's a double-double machine. And Juwan Morgan of Indiana, last season he was one of the most improved players in the country. This season, he's not going to have to shoulder as much a load because of Romeo Lankford in Indiana, but Morgan could have a first-team All-American season. And my preseason National Player of the Year, Carson Edwards of Purdue. Here's what I want you to think about. Think of Shabazz Napier or Kemba Walker of UConn. That smaller guard who can dominate the ball, score 20, 30, 40 on a given night, and he's done it before. I think Carson Edwards can single-handedly take Purdue to a higher level, compete in the top three in the Big Ten, get Purdue in the NCAA tournament, possibly get to the Sweet 16. That's a lot to put on Carson Edwards, but he can handle it. He's my preseason National Player of the Year.